Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows what we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. At this here, what we have becomes a raised to the power x over 8 squared equals to 56 from share. At this yeah, you can write this as 8 raised to the power x over 8 square 8 times 8, that's 64, then equals to 56 here, which is the same thing as 56 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply. 8 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 8 raised to the power x, equals to 56 times 64. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 56 times 64. Then, next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 56 times 64. And from here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here, log 8 cancelled each other. And we have x left, which is equals to log 56 times 64 over log 8. Then, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. But this all we have here becomes x equals to log 56 plus log 64 over log 8. Watch this video to the end and give your thumbs up, put your comment and share this video. Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 56 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. At this here, 64 can be written as 8 times 8, that's 8 squared. And what we have becomes x equals to log 56 over log 8 plus log 8 squared over log 8. At this here, we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here. What we have becomes x equals to log 56 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8. At this here, log 8 comes to each other. We have two left which implies x equals to log 56 over log 8 plus 2. Then, next step here, we can as well write 56 as 8 times 7. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 7 over log 8 plus 2. At this here, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 7 over log 8 plus 2. Watch this video to the end. Give a thumbs up, put your comment, and share this video.
Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 7 over log 8 plus 2, which implies here yeah, log 8 also comes with each other. We have one left. That is x equals to 1 plus 2 then plus log 7 over log 8. The next step here, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2, that's 3, then plus log 7 over log 8. The next step here, we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2. It is the same thing as 2 cube. Then what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 7 over log 2 cube. Then we apply the power law of logarithm here. At this 3 comes here. What we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 7 over 3 log so, which also can be written as x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 times log 7 over log 2. Click on the subscription button and also turn the notification bell. Next step here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b. This is the same thing as log a. To base b then what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 log 7 base 2 then next step we can bring this together as one fraction this is 3 over 1 and we have x equals to the SM here that's 3 then here this becomes 9 plus log 7 base 2 that is the value of x here we have 9 plus log 7 raised to or over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 9 plus log 7 raised to all over 3. That is, what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 9 plus log 7 base 2 all over 3 minus 2 is it equals to 56 from here. Then, next step, we can bring this power together as one. This is 2 over 1. That is, we have 8 raised to power SM up here. That's 3. Here we still have 9 plus log. 7 base 2 then minus 6 now is it equals to 56 on this side that is here yeah. we can bring 9 minus 6 together that's 3 we have 8 raised to power 3 then plus log 7 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 56 on this side then here yeah. it's same thing as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 3 plus log 7 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 56 on this side? Then this power multiplies. 3 here cancels each other. We have 2 raised to power 3 plus log 7 base 2. Is it equals to 56 on this side? And here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power n plus n, this is the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. That is, this, this becomes 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power log 7 raised 2. Is this equals to 56 on this side? 2 raised to power 3 here. Yeah. 2 multiply itself 3 times, that's 8, 10 times. This follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. At this here, the same thing as 7. 
is equal to 56 here. Then 8 times 7 gives us 56, which is equal to 56 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 9 plus log 7 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next time and bye for now.